Bible for Children's Prison. Daniel in the Lion's Den. Written by Edras Guse. Illustrated by Jonathan Hay. Narrated by Jaden John. Darius was the new king of Babylon. He was smart. He picked a hundred and twenty of the very best people in his kingdom to help and rule. And then he picked three of them to be in charge. Daniel was one of those three men. King Darius respected Daniel so much. He talked about making him the rule over the world kingdom. The other leaders were jealous. They planned to find some fault in Daniel so they can get Daniel in trouble with the king. No matter how they tried, this leader cannot find anything bad about Daniel. Daniel was true to the king in all that he did. Also, he was careful and clever and always did everything the very best he could. The jealous leaders knew there was only one way they could trap Daniel. They knew that nothing on earth would stop him from worshiping the God of Israel. Daniel's enemies thought up a plan. They made a new law for the king to sign. The law said that everyone should pray only to King Darius. Anyone who disobeyed would be thrown into a den of lions. King Darius signed a new law. The new law made no difference to Daniel. He did what he always did. He kneeled by his open window three times a day and prayed to the God of heaven. The jealous leaders rushed to tell the king. King Darius had no choice but to arrest Daniel. The law had to be obeyed. Daniel had to die. The king tried hard, but he cannot find a way to change the law. Daniel was sentenced to die by being put into a den of lions. Before Daniel was thrown to the hungry lion, King Darius said to him, Your God whom you serve, continue, he will deliver you. The king didn't sleep that night. Very early the next morning, he rushed back to the lion's pit. King Darius shouted out, Daniel, servant of the living God, I see your God. Will me serve continually be able to deliver you from the lions? Maybe didn't expect an answer, but Daniel replied. Daniel called out, okay. I got saying he's angel and shot the lion's mouth so that they have not hurt me. And also, O okay, king, I have done no wrong before you. King Darius was delighted. He ordered Daniel to be lifted out of the pit. The king knew God delivered Daniel. And that Daniel's enemies were God's enemies. He gave a command in the old world who tricked them. To sign the bad law, which turned into the lion's den. The lions ate them. King Darius wanted the world to know that the God of heaven had protected his faithful servant, Daniel. The king wrote a letter that commanded everybody to worship the living God. And the king restored Daniel to honor and leadership. Daniel in the lion's den. A story from God's word. The Bible found in Daniel 6. The end. God bless you. Thank you for listening.